are my livestock more likely to put on weight eating this? Or are they more likely to put on weight eating this? G'day folks, Jason from the Outer Farm. What this video is going to be about is that video you see on the screen right now is a controversial video I made 18 months ago. At the time, I didn't know it was going to be controversial. And I'll go through why you shouldn't let your pasture come to seed. Now, I copped a bit of back slack from that, and that doesn't worry me, because if you're a YouTuber on channel, you've got to have thick skin. I accept that. You take the good with the bad. So I'm going to explain what that video was about, and also why, and I still believe, why you shouldn't intentionally let your pasture come to seed, and I'll explain that. But first, we'll go through and we'll move these girls into this next cell. around three times on the hook. Throw him up, lock him against the timeless T-paste. Not go anywhere and we'll set this wire. I like to start with my gate. I leave a bit of excess on there and I just like to roll it up nice and tight. The reason I do this is because I like to inspect my animals when they pass me into this next cell. And by making a gateway here and looping it round enables me now to take that handle off that barbed wire fence and now I've got a gateway here now where I'm forcing the animals to go through so I can do a close visual inspection on all of them as they go through. The only other alternative if you haven't got a gate is to wind that poly braid up first and then come and take your steppings out. But if you do that, the cattle get used to that and they wait along the whole fence line and you can't do an inspection because once you take that poly braid up, they'll just go through. And if you have got any issues with your livestock, you can't get a close enough look. Come on, let's go. Come on, Abby. Come on. I've had to build a laneway here specifically because this is that area that got really pugged out in winter time. Oh, sorry, not winter. All that rain we've had to put that mulch in if you go back a couple of videos and we've seeded it so that's just all come to seed and i don't want them chewing that because it hasn't taken a chance to actually take root in the ground yet Have a look across the paddock there. How many seeds can you see? Everything in this paddock has come to seed. From the Rhodes grass, which grows very well up here in Queensland, you've got foxtail, you've got the creeping blue, and also you've got clover, and a few other species. Everything has seeded. Did I intentionally wait for this to come to seed? No, it happens several times a year. Especially now, coming into cooler months, this grass knows that if it's gonna kill in frost, it's getting cooler, it pushes that seed head up, seeds, because it doesn't want to die without dropping the seeds and a chance to germinate until it's finished its job. Doesn't matter how fast I can get around this property, this time of the year, as the cooler weather comes in, everything's seeding, and you can't but help it come to seed. I'm not intentionally waiting for it to come to seed. And I also didn't intentionally have this come to seed, but this was a similar time a few years ago in winter. I was hoping to get the cows through earlier to graze what they could and the seeded pasture would stand, but I was away at the time. That was, I think, COVID lockdown and I couldn't get out. So this come to seed and died off before I brought the cattle in. I had a few people comment, if you don't let the pasture come to seed, how do you get the germination or reseed your pasture to get a thicker pasture down the track once this stuff dies off? Well, that's quite, I think I've just, this self-explanatory like I said, there's multiple times a year where it does come to seed unintentionally. And that's when, like now in winter time, I get my seed drop onto the ground so I can thicken up my pastures for the following years. The comment I made is why you shouldn't let your see your pasture come to seed. You shouldn't wait. Like I said, it is happening now and it will always happen like this. This is when it gets its seed drop 
and builds that bank up. I didn't have to wait. Three times a year, I'm getting my seed drops. If I was to wait now and wait for all my pasture to come to seed during the year, the quality of this pasture is going to drop. I'll scan across this paddock. How many seeds can you see? Loads like the other one. But the difference is this was grazed four days ago. If you want to know more about quality of forage and why this seeded pasture hasn't been eaten, I'll leave a link at the end to a video I done probably 12, 18 months ago. It was about the quality of forage. There's three stages that forage goes through from diaper to teenage to, to pensioner stage. And I'll go through the pros and cons of each stage and you realize why this is still standing and left here. Like I mentioned, this was grazed four days ago. We'll go around and have a look at what they have eaten. If you have a closer look down at the ground level, see all of that has been chewed off. Right there has been chewed off. All that there has been chewed down. There's probably six inches left on that. All the way around to here and even across to there. In there, amongst those seed heads, if you come up to that rose grass, all the stem and seeds left. But if I go in for a closer look inside, They've eaten all the leaf matter off. Those stems would be draining in energy right now, and that's why they've left them. They're woody because it's come to seed. It's, it's draining in energy. I reckon 60 to 80% of that energy is drained out of that goodness, out of that plant. The leaf is still green, so I know it's not late in its stage. It may be another, I'd say, three weeks, and you'll see all the leaf matter dying off. So they've chosen, obviously, to eat all the leaf matter because it's still green. It means it's still got any, it's still got moisture in it. When it starts to die off, it turns dry and woody and fibrous. Exactly like that stem is starting to go now. It's got some brown on that leaf. Remember, the cows know what's good for them. They're not going to eat something like this, which is fibrous, green material, which has got moisture and high in energy. That's why they're going for the greener pickings and definitely leave, leaving those woody stems on that seeded pasture. So I had one lady comment saying they didn't know what I was talking about, that the cows would come in, smash all these seed heads off for me, and that I was being ridiculous because the seed heads are full of protein. Well, I tell you what, and I haven't got a supplement, I haven't got the supplement out at the moment because it's had that much rain. So and they've left a load of seed heads, so I don't know where they're getting this protein from, they must be taken off to the local snack bar at night time I'm not here and getting milkshakes because I'll tell you what, there's a lot of seeds left in this paddock. Let's see if I can taste that protein she was talking about. I'll give it a go once. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's woeful. All I can taste is I'm sure a flock of birds went out for Indian or curry the night before and come across and dump the fertility onto the ground. That, that tasted like. Puh. This plant hasn't come to seed. It's actively growing. They haven't grazed in here yet. This is collecting sunlight. These leaves are solar collectors. It's pushing that, getting that sunlight and carbon dioxide into the ground and growing that root system, helping that plant flourish. This would be higher in energy. If I was to grab my bricks meter and give you a sugar content level of this, it'd be through the roof. Middle of the day, I know between 12 and one o'clock, it's gonna be at its peak. It hasn't come to seed, so it's still actively growing, collecting carbon dioxide and putting it through to the ground to feed the plant and also the microbes. Compared with this plant, that is not. I know that for a fact. Look, there's absolutely no seeds on this plant. Check out the brown leaves. They're all brown. The stem is even going yellow. It's that woody. This has done its job. This has dropped those seeds I was talking about. This is not in the art of or in the, or in the process of capturing carbon and feeding the ground. It's in the chance. It's in the process of dying off. It's dropped its seed. You've got your seed bank there. It's dying off. The roots are dying off, adding the organic matter to the ground. That'll die off and lay over, or the green will come around it, and the cows will trample that next time. That's woody. It's probably got 85% or 90%, probably more of its energy gone. Your cows aren't going to put on weight eating this. They may consume it, but obviously they haven't, because they only had two. 
selective, if you had a lot more in here, you might have a chance because the competition's there. Because I'm reducing the numbers to just for my first winter pass, so I've got something left in winter, they haven't chosen, chosen to eat this. That's why it's standing, and I wouldn't either. They've selectively grazed around it. Look how low it is because that's got no energy. They know that's better for them. They're not going to eat something which they'll be losing weight. If you had a paddock full of seeded pasture and it was going yellow, the cows, if they had nothing else to eat, they would eat it, but they would lose weight. There's no energy. Long, they just can't consume any more food. The rumen's full. It's got to digest this woody pasture. By the time it does that, it's losing weight because it can't fit any more green pasture in, higher in energy. I forgot to mention, if you want to watch that controversial video, whether before, continue on this one, or after it, I'll leave a link to it at the end. That way you know exactly what I'm on about when I go for this video. Another inch overnight, the rain just keeps coming. I'll just finish off at that. I'll let these two do what they do best. He'll stand there all day and eat grass, whilst the Galloway spends half her time in the shed, behind the shed, I should say, in the shade or a shady tree, because the high, thick coat on her, not really good for this tropical Queensland weather. He's making me money, she's making me nothing. Anyway, guys, have a good morning, have a terrific afternoon, and an awesome evening. Wherever you're watching this from, and we'll catch you later. Hey, big boy. Hey, give me some water now. Oh, wait, you wanna walk away from me? Rude bugger.